We all know you can grow your muscle bigger by lifting weights. But why do the muscles actually get bigger? What happens inside the muscle that makes them grow? And how can you use this for bigger muscles? We got called out. What? This is the video. This is my doctor. So how does building muscle work? If you want to grow your muscles, you need to give them a reason to grow. Let's take the bicep. You need to challenge it. You can do this by weight or body weight. And since we're talking about this, the going down part of any movement you're doing is not as important as we thought. We used to believe that you have to do it super slow, like three, four seconds, maybe eight seconds. There's no difference between doing a slow rep or just being controlled. Resistance is resistance. And this will cause small tears, which is good, no worries. But these small tears need repair. How do we repair? Protein and time. And your body is smart, so not only does it fix it, it actually makes the muscle bigger. The funny thing is, everything he said to do in order to grow muscle was correct. Up there, bro. I did it. But how on earth are we still at the point where we think it's the tears that cause the growth? This is why whenever somebody tells me, well, my doctor said this, and so I'm not gonna listen to you. Your doctor doesn't know crap about hypertrophy or nutrition unless they have gone out of their way to study it themselves. Thank God the doctor had a stethoscope because medical doctors get zero training into hypertrophy. They're not wrong. I, I think I need to remove this also. Hand them in. So what is he saying? Doctors really don't learn much about hypertrophy during their education, but were we wrong about the micro tears? So micro tears, you've probably heard it before and even videos like this from TEDx talk about it. What makes muscles grow? Muscles. We have over 600 of them. They make up between one third and one half of our body weight. And along with connective tissue, they bind us together, hold us up and help us move. So far, all true. Yeah, this is amazing. This is very educational. Very clear, yeah. I'm learning. As you expose them to stress, they experience microscopic damage, which in this context is a good thing. In response, the injured cells release inflammatory molecules called cytokines that activate the immune system to repair the injury. This is when the muscle building magic happens. The greater the damage to the muscle tissue, the more your body will need to repair itself. The resulting cycle of damage and repair eventually makes muscles bigger and stronger. From now on, I doubt everything I will ever see in life because we uploaded the video and we got called out. Is this video incorrect? It's a lot more nuanced. So to build new muscle, a process called hypertrophy, our cells need to be exposed to higher workloads than they are used to. In fact, if you don't continuously expose your muscles to some resistance, they will shrink. If you've gained the muscle, you won't lose it like that. Uh, if you don't do anything to give your body a reason to keep the muscle, it will definitely lose some muscle over time. Muscles rely on more than just activity to grow. Without proper nutrition, hormones, and rest, your body would never be able to repair damaged muscle fibers. Of course, in this video, we're talking about what happens inside the body and how the muscle growth process works, right? which I don't know a lot about, but your body can't do all of that if it doesn't have the right nutrition. This vital repair process mainly occurs when we're resting. Also very important, rest, recovery. If you don't sleep, you would probably not really recover very well. No, I always say there's three pillars of training, a good program, good sleeping, good food. I did a lot of research and what I found was micro tears, but we were called out. Is our video wrong? Is TEDx wrong? We did simplify it way too much. It was a one minute short. I trust you, bro. I trust you. And I take that trust very seriously. So let's actually learn what makes muscles grow. Yes, because in his video, if you look at the comments, how about you actually give some info rather than just hold your head and hate? Whoa, I mean, if we made a mistake or if something is incorrect, which the short was definitely not all information, it's right to point that out. It's right to make a reaction video on it. So doc, what causes muscle growth? That's a great question. Let's get into it. What I know and what is the most important thing for you guys to know is that in order to grow muscle, you need to challenge yourself. But the process is inside the body, what makes the muscle grow. Let's see what the science says. So in the science, we see that there are three primary reasons for why muscles grow. And one of them is already mentioned by a lot of commenters, which is mechanical tension. Mechanical tension. If you grab the end of this band and we just pull it, that there is tension. 
And tension is also experienced during a pull-up, for example, or a bicep curl. In our muscles, we have tiny little things called mechanosensors. If you do a curl, for example, or a pull-up, your body senses that you're doing that, and these little sensors send a message. In these muscle cells, there are factories, and the most famous one is the mTOR pathway. It's pretty simple, right? Yes, I completely understand nothing of this. All you need to know is it's responsible for protein synthesis after the mechanosensor sends its message. Protein synthesis, the creation of muscle. Yo, I know something. He knows something. I know something. The majority of our body consists out of protein, right? Especially muscles. So this factory is actually a muscle building factory. That's why a high protein diet is important because the protein is important for the protein in the muscle. So challenge yourself, not for the tears, but for the mechanical tension, because this is the main driver of muscle growth. Right, it's the main driver, but there are two other ones. The second most important thing is the pump, metabolic stress. Imagine you're doing a bunch of curls, 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 20, 25, 30, and then you start feeling fire and it's burning and you're dying and you're screaming, you're like, ah! That metabolic stress. Are we then talking about the lactic acid building up? Yo, wait, 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 you're going way too fast, but he's right. We're talking about the lactic acid. Whenever you're producing energy, there's waste products. One of them is lactic acid exactly and lactic acid is painful it's fiery and it's a byproduct uh, it's also a reason why a lot of people can't really do an insane amount of reps especially on something like pull-ups because the lactic acid is building up and it just hurts too much and they give up rather than they're too tired lactic acid among other byproducts cause muscle growth also so this is quite a nice overview showing different things. And actually this first one is the most important, increased fiber recruitment. We have different types of fibers in our muscles. We have slow twitch and fast twitch. The slow twitch ones are responsible for many, many, many reps. And fast twitch you use more often during the explosive movements. And that's exactly what happens with metabolic stress. You're doing so many reps, the energy systems within the slow twitch, they get overworked. There's so much lactic acid that they need to stop, they panic. You still wanna do the reps, so your fast twitch muscles finally join the battle and they also get tired. So you get all the fibers working together in harmony. So in order to get the biggest muscle possible, you need to train both of them. You wanna train everything. Exactly. But then the third reason for muscle growth, it's actually muscle damage. It is not wrong. It's just a little bit more nuanced. So right now I see mainly this online. Muscle damage does not cause hypertrophy or muscle growth. Take me through this, explain. Are we wrong? Are we hey, right? Hey, hey, calm down. Hold no, on. I, I hey. the science says, hey. I don't understand. Hey. Hey. Well, arguments that many make towards why muscle damage does not cause hypertrophy is one, they show that there are studies where there is no muscle damage, but there is growth. But all that these studies do is they just prove that mechanical tension and metabolic stress are also capable of causing muscle growth. Another reason often mentioned is too much damage can be harmful. Deteriorate the muscle. Yes, it can actually cause loss of muscle. And they use this as an argument why muscle damage doesn't cause muscle growth. But all you've proven now is too much is too much. Too much is not good, yeah, okay. And the third and best reason for why muscle damage does not cause hypertrophy, there's no clear cause and effect relation. Correlation is not causation. Exactly, they've proven that muscle damage and muscle gain happen at the same time, but is it the byproduct or is it the cause for the muscle growth? So we haven't proven that muscle damage is the cause for muscle growth. But we also have proven the opposite. But there's actually a study done on rodents, mice and rats, where they grab an injection of myotoxins, myo stands for muscle, toxin for toxin, and they inject it into the muscle of these rodents, and it causes muscle growth. But would that mean that any type of damage will cause muscle growth? See, here's the thing. It's not really fair of me to use this as an argument because one, we're not rodents, and two, when you're doing training, you're not injecting myotoxins. Myotoxin itself could cause maybe some type of anabolic effect. There's a study done on people taking ibuprofen or Advil, and people who take a certain doses actually see less muscle gain. Muscle damage causes inflammation and inflammation causes muscle gain. These painkillers, ibuprofen or Advil, they obviously, you take them to feel less pain. Right, so inflammation is necessary to repair muscles. So much information, 
were we wrong or were we right? What causes muscle growth? The thing is, muscle damage could cause muscle growth, but it's not the most important driver for muscle growth. That's mechanical tension and... The pump, uh, metabolic stress. Exactly. The mechanical tension, that's the most important, then metabolic stress, and at the very bottom, muscle damage. It's not completely wrong, but it's not the right focus. Mechanical tension is the one we should focus on. Exactly. Get to work, challenge yourself, get bigger muscles. Progressive overload. Hmm. So that's why we got called out. It's good that we're kept accountable so that we can explain this in more detail. Uh, by the way, you shout out to the original videos in the description below and Dr. Yacht, check them out. And this is the last video we reacted to. This was pretty crazy. So uh, click here, subscribe to this link and hit that bell. And we got a workout app in the description if you want to gain some muscle. Challenge yourself. Gains.